Reflect across x equals y. Reflect across y equals x. This is hard for me to do visually, but I'm going to try my best to do this. Okay, I'm going to draw out the y equals x line, and as you can see, I screwed that up already. Now it's not looking so bad. This green, perfectly straight line is supposed to act as a mirror. So if you could take your head, so this is your head, and tilt it sideways just a little bit, and pretend that it's lining up with that green line, you are going to see that this shape is going to flip over it. Now, it's hard for me to kind of line things up and find out where these points go. I know from regular reflections that I always count out how many dots I am away or how many units I'm away from the graph or from the mirror, and I just graph it on the other side, but that's hard to see. What I have here is y equals x. So this is what I'm going to do. This is a trick. Y equals X and X equals Y. Let me list out my four original pre-image points. This might seem a bit too much and gratuitous, but I guarantee you if there's anything I'm not, it's gratuitous. L, the original L is don't move, go up to. So the original L is zero, two. The original H is left two up one, two, three. So the original H is left two up three. The original Q is left two and up one. So the original Q is negative two, positive one. And the original P is left one, two, three, down one, two. So the original P is left three, down two, negative three, negative two. What I need to find is clearly not these guys, but these guys, the points of the image, the reflection points. How am I going to pull these off without using my graph? Well, I'll tell you. If you look at the original equation that we're given, y equals x, this is telling us that y equals x now and x equals y. What does that mean? These guys just flip. 0, 2 becomes 2, 0. Negative 3, I'm sorry, negative 2, 3 becomes 3, negative 2. Negative 2, 1 becomes 1, negative 2. And negative 3, negative 2 becomes negative 2, negative 3. All I did was flip the points. I take these guys and graph them out. L prime, let's go to my origin, is right 2. Don't go up or down. L prime. H prime is right one, two, three, down one, two. Put a dot there, H prime. Q prime is go right one, go down one, two, Q prime. And P prime is negative two, negative three. So go left one, two, go down one, two, three. That's P prime. Now for me, I struggle mightily with graphing these. So I'm going to notice that, all right, well, H connects to Q. So H prime is going to connect to Q prime. Q connects to P. So Q prime uh, connects to P prime. Okay. P connects to L. So P prime connects to L prime. Sorry, Q prime. And then last but not least, L connects to H, so L prime to H prime. So again, if you take your head and you tilt it about an eighth of a turn, you can see the mirror image, how this guy reflects to that guy, that these guys, if I knew how to draw, would be the exact same shape. And this guy is just a reflection of that, okay? Not easy. But the y equals x trick is just that. It's a trick and it's meant to make life a little bit easier if you know the trick. And now you know it.